Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, you will learn about JavaScript functions. A function is a group of reusable code to perform a particular task and it can be called anywhere in a program. Functions allow to divide a big program into a number of small and manageable functions. Functions help to write modular based code. I will open the code editor and I will show you how you can write function in JavaScript language. I am using this index.html file and inside that I have already attached an external myscript.js file. Both of these files are located inside this exercise folder. I will open myscript.js file and I will show you how you can write function inside a JavaScript. To write a function you use function keyword and then you write function name and then you add parentheses. After that you specify a block of code inside these curly braces. The function name can have letters, digits, dollar sign and underscore. Same rules as variables. This is called function definition or declaration. The block of code inside this function definition or declaration would not be executed automatically until you call or invoke this function. I'll write a simple JavaScript statement inside this function. I will use document.write method and I would say code execution inside function. I will go ahead, I will save this script. I will open the index.html file inside the browser so you can see nothing happens because I have not yet invoked or called this function. To execute a function, you need to call or invoke a function. To invoke or call a function, you write function name and then you add invoke or calling operator. These parentheses are called invoke or calling a function operator. I'll save this script again. I'll refresh the page inside the browser. So now you can see code execution inside the function after invoking and calling the function. Functions are very helpful. You can re reuse this code. You define this code once and can use it many times. As I mentioned earlier, functions allow to divide a big program into a number of small and manageable functions. So by this way, you write the function and you call function. Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, you will learn how to add parameters to a function definition and how you can return value from a function. You can add parameters to a function definition. To give you an example of a function accepting parameters, I will declare a function. I will give it a name function with parameters. Now I will add some parameters to this function. You add parameters inside these parentheses like p1, p2. A function can take multiple parameters separated by a comma and then you pass some values as an argument to these parameters. Now I will write the invoke statement for this function. I will add two values 10 and 20. 10 and 20 are the real values received by this function. P1 will accept the value 10 and P2 will accept the value 20. And these values will be passed as an argument when this function will be invoked. The P1 and P2 parameter values can be captured inside this function and you can perform any manipulation on these parameters. For example, I will declare a variable z and I will perform the multiplication of p1 with p2. I will simply display the result of variable z. I will use the document dot write method and I will say p1 multiply by p2 equal to and plus then the variable z and then a line break. I will save this script and I will show you the result inside the browser. I will open the index.html file. So you can see this is the product of p1 and p2 parameter. 
So by this way, you add parameters to the functions and you pass values as an argument to these parameters when a function is invoked. In this case, I am passing values as an argument to these parameters. You can also pass a function as an argument to a parameter. Let me give you an example of a function passing as an argument. I will declare two functions. The first function will accept a function as a value. I will give it a name parameter as a function and I will add a func parameter. This func parameter will accept a function as a value and then I will write the invoke statement for parameter as a function function parameter as a function and then the invoke operator and now I will declare a second function. I will give it a name hello world and inside this hello world I will simply alert a message and I will say function passed as an argument. Now if you want to pass this function as an argument to this parameter you simply add the name of this hello world function inside these parentheses and now this function will be passed as an argument to the func parameter and inside this main function you can use the parameter func and then the invoke operator this will call the hello world function for you i'll save this script and i will show you the result inside the browser i'll refresh the page so now you can see hello world function passed as an argument. So by this way you pass a function as an argument to a parameter and then you use the parameter name to invoke the function. A JavaScript function can have an optional return statement. If you want a function to return some value you use a return keyword. Let me give you an example of a function returning some value. I will declare a function, I will give it a name return sum. I will add two parameters x and y and inside this function I will declare a variable z and I will assign it a value of x plus y. Now if you want this function to return the value of z you use return keyword and then the variable z. I will invoke this return sum function. I will add two values 10 and 20. These two values will be passed as an argument to x and y and then the arithmetic addition operation will be performed and the result will be assigned to variable z and then this return statement will return the value of z. I also need to store uh, the returned value and for that I will declare a variable result. So when this function return the value of z it will be stored in variable result. Now I will simply display the resultant value. I will use document dot write method. I will say return value. I will use concatenation operator and then the result variable. I will save this script and I will refresh the page. So you can see this is the return value which is the addition of x plus y. So by this way you use return statement to return some value from a function. You can also use function as a values. Instead of writing these two lines you can combine these two lines in a single line. Let me show you how you can use it. I'll copy this line. I'll paste it here and I will say function as values. Now I will copy this return sum invoke statement and I will paste it here and I will comment out these two lines. So by this way you can use the functions as values. I will save this script and you will see the same result. Refresh. So you can see the same result. So by this way you use functions as a values. Hi. Welcome to this video. In this video I will discuss how you can assign a function to a variable and I will also discuss anonymous function in JavaScript. In JavaScript you can assign a function to a variable because in JavaScript functions are objects and they can be assigned to a variable. 
To give you an example of assigning a function to a variable, I will declare a function. Function, I will give it a name sum. I will add two parameters to this sum function x and y. This sum function will return the addition of x and y. I will use the return keyword and then I will write x plus y. You can also include or add an expression to the return statement. This is an expression and it will return the addition of x and y and it will be a good practice to add an expression inside the parenthesis. Now I will assign this function to a variable. I will declare a variable s. To assign a function to a variable, you just assign the name of the function to a variable. Now this variable s contains this sum function and you can use this variable to invoke this sum function. I will invoke this sum function using the variable s. s. I will include two arguments 10 and 20 and I will store the return value to a variable r. Let me display the result of variable r, r to a browser. I will use document dot write method. I will add r, I will plus the concatenation operator and then a line break. I will save this script and I will show you the result inside the browser. I will open index.html. So you can see this is the addition of x and y. So by this way you can assign a function to a variable and then you can use the variable to invoke the main function. In JavaScript you can assign a function to a variable without giving it a name. A function without a name is called anonymous function. Let me give you an example of anonymous function. I will declare a variable is adult and now I will assign a function to this variable is adult and I will not give it a name. I will write function and then I will add parenthesis and inside this parenthesis I will add a parameter age. Now notice I didn't add the name of the function. This is a function without a name. I will add the opening and closing curly braces and then a semicolon at the end of closing curly brace. So this function has no name. So this is called anonymous function. Inside this anonymous function, I will perform some action. And the action is if age is greater than or equal to 18, then simply return yes. In the else statement, if the age is not greater than or equal to 18, it will return no. Now I will invoke this function using this variable is adult and I will add an argument and the argument will be 25 and I will save the return value to some variable and the variable will be k. Let me display the value of k to a browser. I will use document dot write method and I will say adult status is and I will add the variable k. I will go ahead I will save the script. I will refresh the page. So you can see adult status is yes because I passed 25 as an argument to this age parameter. So by this way you declare an anonymous function and you assign anonymous function to a variable and then you use the variable name to invoke it. So in this video you covered how you can assign a function to a variable and how you can declare anonymous functions. Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will discuss self-executing anonymous functions in JavaScript. You can write self-executing function in JavaScript. A self-executing function is auto-run or runs automatically when you create it. Let me write a self-executing anonymous function. I will define a function. 
This is an anonymous function. It doesn't have name. I will execute a JavaScript statement inside this anonymous function. I will say alert auto show up message. Now to execute this function automatically or to make it auto run or self executing function, you wrap this function definition inside the parenthesis like this and then you add the auto invoke operator and then a semicolon. So now this function has become self executing anonymous function. I will go ahead, I'll save this script and I'll open index.html file. So now you can see the action of the self executing anonymous function. I will go ahead, I will press OK. So this is the syntax of writing self executing anonymous function and you can see without being called or invoked it is executed automatically. There is an alternate syntax of writing a self executing anonymous function. Let me show you the alternate syntax. I will copy the first syntax. In this second syntax you just take in this auto invoke operator inside the wrapper. But I personally prefer the first syntax. I will change this message little bit. I will say auto show up message 2. I will go ahead, I will save this script. I will refresh the browser. So this is the auto execution of first syntax and this is the auto execution of second syntax. So this is the way how you write self executing anonymous function in an alternate syntax. You can add parameters and pass arguments to a self executing anonymous function. I will define a function with two parameters x and y and inside this function I will perform some block of code. I will say alert sum of x and y and then plus and then I will add an expression and inside this expression I will add x plus y. Now I will wrap this function definition inside a parenthesis to make it self executing anonymous function. To pass arguments to these parameters I will add arguments inside this auto invoke operator. I will add 10 and 20. These values will be passed as an argument to these parameters. I will go ahead, I will save this script. I will refresh the page. This is the result of first self executing anonymous function and this is the second one and this is the third one. You can see it returns the addition of x and y. I will press ok. So by this way you can pass values as an argument to the parameters of self executing anonymous function. It is possible for a self executing anonymous function to return some value. Let me give you an example of a self executing anonymous function with return value. I will define a function with two parameters x and y. This function will simply return the addition of x and y. Let me create some space so you can see it clearly. Now I will wrap this function definition inside the parenthesis to make it self executing anonymous function and then I will add the auto invoke operator and inside this I will add two values 10 and 50. Now these two values will be passed as an argument to these parameters and the arithmetic addition operation will be performed and the self executing anonymous function will return the addition of x and y. I will also need a variable to store the return value. I will assign this self executing anonymous function to variable sum. So when the self executing anonymous function will return the addition of x and y it will be stored to variable sum. And then I will alert the return value. I will say return, I will add the variable sum. I will go ahead and I will save this script 
and I will refresh the page. So this is the first auto execution. This is second. This is third. And this is the fourth one. And this fourth one is returning some value and which is the addition of two variables, two parameters x and y. So by this way, you can also add a return statement to a self-executing anonymous function. So in this video, I covered self-executing anonymous function.